Well, gang, if you bought into the flagrant fear-mongering and resultant calls to action over little old loot boxes, I want you to take a bow. Go on, sweet cheeks, drop the skull bong, stand up, adjust your bib overalls, and curtsy your ever-loving ass off. Because after an epoch spent agonizingly preventing the government from going full goat fuck on gaming, one video from a British blue whale and you invite the very same government to regulate the living shit out of it. Optional? What's that? Self-control? Have you seen Sterling's waistline? The man knows the best wine to pair with a medium-sized sedan. Point being, the government Government is your gammy now, having been cautioned by myself and myriad motherfucking others, might I add, that the government is the very last asshole you want to approach for justice, temperance, or moderation, and then by the end they'll make EA look like Jesus Christ incarnate. I knew it wouldn't be long till these leering pituary dunderfucks fed their personal liberty to the wood chipper. One fake Hawaiian congressman smile at a time. The coordinates of video game ground zero, you ask? Where else? but Western Europe, where the dips that run the Belgian government once again waffled on personal liberty by stipulating a 15-year fucking prison sentence for any unlockable loot box on God's green earth. 15 fucking years! Just five years less than Vargot for killing a guy! Mission complete! <laughs> Well, fucking done, folks. You wanted to ass blast EA so badly you enlisted the aid of literally the only monolithic entity more mustache twirlingly malevolent than they are the government. Coo fucking doze, dipshits. You want it out of the frying pan? Enjoy the crematorium, you cunts. Oh, but Razor, it's gambling by any reasonable definition. First off, who in yawning chasms a fuck says gambling should be illegal to butt fucking begin with? In countries and states that didn't trade away their personal liberty for utterly shit healthcare and spy cameras on every street corner, it already fucking isn't. If gambling is the great Satan, sidle on up to the government sometime and tell them to lay waste to their fucking lottery systems. That means you, Belgium. Look, I'm no gambler. In fact, I wouldn't know the first fucking thing. I once played tarot two-card Monty, got a flush, and four people died. But if you're banking on government to take an inch and not move on the mile thereafter, I'll see your bet and raise you fucking five. But let's accept your bullshit premise for what passes for an argument's sake. The crux of your hypothesis appears to be because the player's unable to determine what might materialize upon exchanging their welfare wealth for Mace Window or whatever the living shit, that the exchange of legal tender for the chance of acquiring an in-game item, even absent overt monetary value, is pure predation and payola. In brief, it's a digital slot machine. K. Okay. So by that flagrant fucking illogic, boxes a Ninja Turtles cereal with the crunchiest mutant marshmallows known to man, offering a one in five chance to crack open a Krang toy in every box, must turn my pantry into a pachinko parlor. It's a blind date gambling. I paid ten times as fucking much, and nine times out of ten, I don't even get to open a goddamn box. Where do we draw the line where some congressional purse slip pube in a one size two small suit doesn't save us from our own profoundly shit decisions exactly? What are the recurring arguments? I see is that it's predatory gambling because there's no possible way for the player to know the object he offers his hard-earned White Castle fucking Friolator dollars for will actually be worth the investment. A statement I find goddamn gut-busting because, I mean, really, how many financial transactions in life could that not be set of? Do used car salesmen enjoy the stellar reputation afforded their vocation because absolutely everyone knows they're going to be satisfied with their vehicular purchase? Or you're rolling the goddamn dice on the half-exploded fucking Yugo there? Ever plunk down your pesos on a pair of pantaloons only to have the asshole split open like a seat cushion at Sterling's house five fucking hours later? I have! Or better yet, let's veer on back to the video. DLC. Did you know for certain before you purchased it that The Witcher 3 Blood and Wine, much of which consists of cut content from the original game by the by, would actually be worth whatever the fuck it ultimately costs? Did you buy the fuck out of the Oblivion Horse Armor DLC, already aware of its intrinsic in-game <laughs> I'm just shitting, nobody actually bought Horse Armor. Point being, if shelling out shekels for in-game shit with a great big question mark where an unknown quantity will eventually be constitutes a gamble, gamers rolling them bones, 
happens but fucking perpetually. Why well, a fair few loony fucks gather around the Maypole one winter's eve and decided to call that phenomenon capitalism. If paying to get a thing that has no real world value but helps you in a game is gambling, someone needs to nail arcades and pizzerias for that token and ticket horse shit. Best rally the SWAT team because by dim spurgling logic, Peter Piper Pizza's been serving up bubbling slices of Sodom and Gomorrah for the last 30 fucking years. But hey, at least EA gets a good sphincter fucking if by sphincter fucking you mean they get off scot-free because they put loot boxes on temporary hiatus in response to shit game sales before the lawsuit was leveled. That's right, retards! You shrieked and you cried and you lobbied your kitty fucking congressman to act with immediacy on the subject and the first nation to actually disregard personal liberty, lock into a Hadouken stance and light a bitch up! is it even singeing EA's nose hairs? You know, the company you were pissed at to fucking begin with. And all the while, folks, the free market, by smacking down sales by a factor of 60 plus fucking percent, has already addressed the problem absent government intervention. But hey, at least when some Franco-Belgian bitch decides to hawk Carskin DLC on Xbox One Five Zulu Alpha Tango 404 exclusives not found. Some unelected prick in a powdered wig will strike him down like a fist of an angry god. Justice. If it's the mere act of getting nothing for something that brings your bladder to a boil here, selfless philanthropic e-diplomat that I am, I do believe I've happened on the perfect solution. You primed? You puckered? Here goes. Try calling it Star Citizen. I'm Razor Fist. God fucking speed. No!